Do you want to isolate the vocals from any song with 100% accuracy and clarity? Well, that's, that's not what this is. I can, however, show you how to do a pretty good job for free using GarageBand. GarageBand super sleuth Pete Johns discovered that Apple snuck in a brand new audio unit effect into GarageBand during the recent iOS 16 update. If you're unsure where to find the Apple selection of free audio unit effects inside GarageBand, in Tracks view, select the track you want to add the effect to, tap the track settings icon, then tap plugins and EQ. Next, tap edit in the top corner, then tap on any free green plus icon. In the next menu, you can select between a list of GarageBand for iOS's stock effects, or by tapping on Audio Unit Extensions, a list of any third-party effect apps you have installed on your device. At the bottom of this list, you'll find all of Apple's in-house stock Audio Unit effects, and at the very bottom, the AU Sound Isolation effect. That's the new AU effect that Pete discovered and the one that we'll be using to isolate our vocals. To get started, you'll unsurprisingly need a song with vocals that you want to isolate. Whether it's one of your own songs or somebody else's that you want to isolate the vocals of, the easiest way to bring in a WAV, MP3 or .AIFF file into GarageBand is using the Files browser. The simplest way to get going here is to press and hold on the GarageBand icon on your device's homepage and when the Wii menu pops up, select Create New Audio Recording. This will open a new project with an audio recorder track set up. Next, tap on the Tracks icon at the top of the screen. Before bringing in your song though, tap on the small plus icon in the top right of the screen, tap on Section A and set it to Automatic if it isn't already. This will make sure that the entire song is imported when you bring it in, and not just the first eight bars of it. Now that's done, tap on the loop icon at the top of the screen, and in the browser menu that pops up, tap on Files. From here, tap on Browse Items from the Files app. My files are floating around in my Downloads folder. Grab yours from wherever they are in your Files app. Tap on the file you want to import, and after a few seconds, it'll be added to the Files menu in GarageBand's loop browser. Now you just need to tap and hold on the file and then drag it and drop it into a new track. Once that's done, you can go ahead and delete the empty track you're left with if you want to. Now to isolate those vocals then. Here's what this track sounds like right now. To add the AU sound isolation effect, tap on the track controls icon, then tap on plugins and EQ. Next, tap edit in the top corner, then on a green cross icon, tap on audio unit extensions and scroll right to the bottom of the list once again before tapping on the effect itself. Once it's loaded onto your track, tap on it again to open up the effects interface. Things are really straightforward here with just a wet dry slider and a drop down menu which allows you to select from one sound to isolate only, voice. Hit play then and you'll hear that any instrumental part of your song will probably be completely silent, while during sections where vocals are present, that's all you hear, most of the time anyway. While a decent addition to GarageBand's suite of free effects, it definitely isn't perfect. 
you may run into some artifacting on the vocal or depending on how the song has been mixed, it might not pick up the vocal particularly well at all. I found that it didn't always do the best job of completely separating vocals from everything else going on in a track and that while tweaking the wet dry slider does improve things, it kind of defeats the point if you're looking to remove any background music completely. I mean, it's free, yeah, but hopefully Apple can improve on this at some point, or at least allow users to isolate more instruments than just vocals in future. Alright, let me know your thoughts on this new AU sound isolation effect down in the comments, and feel free to give that like button a wee slap on your way past. And if you want to learn how to do something actually useful in GarageBand for iOS, watch this video next.